SAT prep, here we go. Here's the math guys Steve. Solve for x because we got three over x plus two over x plus one equals five, okay? So we solve rational equations by getting rid of the fractions by multiplying by the LCD. So here we got x and x plus one as our denominators. That'll be the LCD x times x plus one. So we're multiplying by x times x plus one. Well here, in the first one, the x is canceled. So we get three times x plus one, which is three x plus three. Here, uh, the x plus one is canceled. So we get two times x, which is two x. And then here we get um, nothing canceled, so it's just 5x times x plus 1. If we distribute that, we get 5x squared plus 5x. Okay, now first let's combine like terms, so we get 3 plus 5x equals 5x squared plus 5x. Bring everything to one side, we get, okay, 0 equals 5x squared. Subtracting 5x, we just get uh, minus 3. Okay, but now it's a simple quadratic, right? Once I have 0 on one side, there's no second term, no middle term, no x term. And so we can just add 3 to both sides. Okay, so 3 equals 5x squared. Uh, divided by 5, we get 3 fifths equals x squared, and then taking the square root, don't forget that plus or minus, right? So we get x equals plus or minus the square root of 3 over 5, all right? So that'd be our solution. Now, a lot of times we want to rationalize these denominators, so we could write this as plus or minus uh, root 3 over root 5. Multiplying both top and bottom by root 5, we would say that's plus or minus root 15 over 5, okay? But that would be our two solutions. Now, with rational equations, we definitely have to check this, right? But really, we're checking against our restriction on the domain of those rationals, meaning that we know our denominators, uh, x and x plus 1, cannot equal 0. So we know x cannot equal 0, and x plus 1 cannot equal 0, meaning x can't equal 0, and x can't equal negative 1. But since neither one of those were the solutions that we got, then our solutions work. Always remember, math is everywhere.